today we're going to talk about the fruit of peace. This one's very cool because the word that Paul used in the Greek to describe peace is used to denote and describe a nation that is in a state of tranquility, or the word is used to denote to be free from the havoc and misery of war. So that's, that's the message that Paul is trying to present is that is the type of, of just freedom that, that the Spirit is going to produce inside of you when you're close to God. In Isaiah chapter 26, in verse 3, a great scripture says, You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal. This scripture is amazing. It says that God is going to keep in perfect peace. What does that mean? The word perfect is used to be complete or finished. So a nation that never has to worry about the havoc and the the brutality of war. That's what God's going to give you when you are steadfast in him and you trust him. It's ultimately knowing that you can trust God. In, in the real world, you can't trust other nations because people have their own ambitions. God's ambition is he loves you. He sent his son to die on the cross for you. You can trust that. You can trust that God has your best interest. And so when, when you are full of the spirit, when you are close to God, you're going to produce the fruit of peace, which is a freedom and a trust that God can allow you to have that's going to change your life. So as we dig deep roots, as we build our relationship with God, let's display what I believe could be one of the most powerful fruits to the world around us, and that is peace. That though we are in this world, we are set free. Have a great day.